Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I just got myself a brand new treasure. So for those of you who have no idea what this is, treasure is a hardware wallet. So it basically protects and secures your uh, cryptocurrency assets. And if you know, if you play Axie Infinity, this is a must buy because you can transfer all your Axies, your SLPs or AXS all to this hardware wallet and this uh, treasure contains up, up to uh, 50 ronin accounts so basically this is the perfect item for uh axie managers or wannabe you know axie managers in the future you should invest in this and i got this from shopee for six thousand pesos and that's around 120 us dollars hey six thousand pesos oh it's well worth it and this will really give you the peace of mind you don't have to worry of uh your ronin accounts getting hacked and your axes you know just being sold or transferred to a different account without you you knowing so this is definitely a must buy and make sure when you buy this product make sure it's like fully sealed and make sure the seals right here it's not tampered and it's not broken and it has like seals on both both ends so that's it so i got mine from a legit reseller and check out the descriptions below i provided the link on the actual uh, product from shopee and uh go get yours from there because these things really you know get sold out really quick because i got mine like what two days ago and when I check the the item again from Shopee, it's out of stock so that quick. So make sure to get this from a legit reseller. And actually, this is my first time buying this, so this will also be my first time setting it up. So let's all do it, and you know, set it up for the very first time. This is what the actual box looks like, kind of like the size of your wallet. And these are the seals what I am talking about earlier shouldn't be torn or tampered with and there are two seals on both ends top and bottom so out from the box is what you get it's really small kind of like a typical flash drive it has a small screen with two buttons it uses a micro usb there are also stickers and uh, booklets for the seed phrase for you to write on it's just not included in the video all right so let's go set it up first step is go to uh this site so it's treasure.io slash start but it gets redirected to uh, suite.treasure.io now slash start then download the app the desktop app right downloading around 116 megabytes only for me of course run treasure suite connect connect my treasure so this is the treasure right here is it's really small and like a usb flash drive <laughs> so i'm going to connect my uh, desktop what's this what do we collect data collection is used for product development purposes uh maybe next time <laughs> not now set up treasure so yeah, security check says here my hologram was intact. Yep, I got this intact and untampered with. And the box is really, really sealed and hard to open. I kind of messed up the box already. I'm just, you know, trying to get the treasure out. So I got this from official shop or a trusted reseller. Yep, check. And package wasn't tampered with. All right, so click set up treasure install firmware the treasure is shipped with the out any firmware so you can install okay just click install right here installing disconnect your treasure do not hold any buttons while connecting the cable right so disconnect treasure Then, then what? Then connect again. Okay. 
confirm on treasure all right because there's like screen a small screen on the treasure confirm ah oh, man the text is hella small gotta use my reading glasses oh, man ah oh. all right so confirm here a few moments later getting old all right so restarting treasure it is prompting me something nope it's doing it on its own click continue okay so uh create a new wallet or restore one from backup of course it's my first time so create new wallet standard seed backup confirm on treasure your wallet is almost ready you successfully set up Trezor and created your wallet. You should never use Trezor without backing it up. It's the only way to recover a lost wallet. So create backup. Check your backup and the device. Never take photo. Check your backup in the device setting before sending money to the wallet. Check. So just never take photo or uh, make a digital copy of the backup okay keep your backup secured and never share with anyone all right got it proceed with backup confirm on treasure right and so i need to get a pen and write down the seed phrase so the seed phrase is actually displayed on your treasure so but i can't show that of course for security purposes a few moments later right finally finally set up the backup and then do not lose your funds okay that's important do not lose the backup all right continue to pin use a strong pin confirm on treasure all right so i already finished uh setting up my pin now it asks you to activate coins so you could just choose any coins you want uh what I, i'll go ethereum bitcoin hmm, doggy coin hmm, whatever so you could just pick these for now but i'm pretty sure you could activate them uh later on so that's it complete setup edit name uh-huh easy treasure okay confirm on treasure then access the suite what is this standard wallet uh huh okay so right now i'm on the treasure uh, app suite app so it just shows me this so we can go what settings application uh huh and crypto yeah you can toggle these switches again to uh activate the crypto uh, currency you want to uh save and i guess that's it so let's go back up my axes all right so let's try back up click on my uh then what uh connect hardware wallet plug in your device import an account enjoy using ronin right it's already plugged in so connect wallet read public keys from right Don't ask me again allow for this device export account one leave passphrase blank to access your default wallet 
prompts so it prompts you right here to select an account to import so as you can see right here i have what 50 a total of 50 so one trezor device has total of 50 ronin addresses so that's 50 for you to use so imagine 50 accounts for you know for yourself and the scholars I'll pick the first one for my main account. Account connected. Really? Is it? Oh, this is Trezor One right here. So this is it. Oh, there you go. Change name. There you go. Okay, so next thing you should do after you have created the new Scholar account from your Trezor wallet is to log in that uh, Ronin account to the marketplace, to Axie Marketplace. So select the newly created Ronin account and log in with Ronin wallet. So click confirm right here and a new window will open. Of course, this is going to be con connecting to your Trezor. All right. So click on the Trezor device, click export, click again, then follow instructions on your device. So just take a look at your Trezor device and usually there's just a cancel or confirm on the screen so click the button for confirm and that's it i'm connected so the first thing is you have to name the new um account for the axi marketplace that is connected to this ronin address so i'm gonna go kr 07 dash dc save and that's it next thing you should do is set up the email and password so since this is my like uh since this is my seventh ronin account so you have to set up a new email and password again for the scholar so right here the email i'm already using uh, since my uh, main account is using this email and every time you're going to add additional scholar account, just go put plus one, plus two, plus three, and so on. Since this one is my uh, seventh, I think. So I have to put plus six at gmail.com. Beat the password. it how easy it is click confirm and just slide the bar and fit the puzzle right there and they should send you a verification code to that email so open the email i should be expecting a verification code right here there you go verification code eight six zero one eight five eight six zero one eight five click confirm that's it it's all set up so it has its own uh, marketplace account already and you can also generate the qr from here so right now this new scholar account is empty so the inventory doesn't have any axes or you know no tokens yet no slps yet so this is a fresh clean scholar account so the next thing you should do is to transfer axes from your main account to this new scholar account and this is how you do it so next is to log out from the scholar account and log in your main account so since my main account is now connected to Trezor, it's going to prompt again and connect to my Trezor once I log in. This is how safe it is. 
So this is the advantage you get if you own a Trezor. Every you know action or transaction will always go through this Trezor wallet and it will always ask for your confirmation. So none of your you know assets or axes will be sold or transferred or gifted to different accounts without you ever knowing or without you approving. All right. So right here, this is my main account. And in my inventory, I have 14 axes. Well, four of them are still in their egg form. So they're going to hatch in like three to five days. So I'm going to gift axes one by one. So for example, I'm going to gift this plant right here. So this plant is a good, you know, starter plant for uh, scholar accounts good the energy gain and uh, that's it let's go gift this account to my scholar gift so i copied the ronin address of my new scholar account and just paste it right here you can click it again and it will show you you know the address name or the ronin account name so as you can see right here it's displaying KR07-DC, which is the one I named my uh, Ronin account earlier. So, got it. Gift. So, it's going to open up my Ronin. Click confirm. And again, it will connect to my Trezor again, prompting me for another confirmation. All right. So, click on the Trezor. Follow instructions from your device. So, I just click confirm from my uh treasure and that's it so that's sending one axi right there so if i go back go back to my activity so right here you can see you attempted to gift kr07 you know to this account right here and if you keep refreshing the page this uh, KR07 axi right here, the plant should disappear in like a few minutes. But you could always confirm on your Ronin account and see if the axes got deducted. So as you can see right here for my Ronin, it only displays 13. But in right here, the marketplace it says 14 because it's kind of taking a while for it to uh, refresh. But right here, one of the axes got deducted already. So let's visit the Ronin account and see if it got the axie I gifted just like a while ago. So click your Ronin again. Click on the new Scholar account. As you can see right here, it has one axie. So that's a good sign, right? If you know and you're sure that the Axie got transferred already. But just in case, let's go log in. Click Confirm. Again, Trezor will prompt. Let's click those. And click Confirm from your Trezor. See? Look at that. The Scholar account finally got one axi from me so you're gonna do the same steps one by one for each axi and you know for each scholar accounts you want to manage and just transfer the axes this way so this is really safe and you don't have to worry about your axes you know getting lost or getting hacked by someone else because every time someone tries to uh steal your axes they all they can't complete the transaction without you confirming from your treasure. So keep that in mind. If you don't press confirm, then nothing will happen. Just as long you recognize any activity that's going on and you know that's from you, then that's the only time you click confirm. But other than that, if you don't click confirm, then no one else can get the axes from your accounts. And that's how Trezor works. And that's it.
that's all you need to do it's a bit time consuming you know for like transferring from uh one account to another because you have to like keep confirming but you know that's the added security you get when you buy a treasure and it really puts you at ease and you don't have to worry about your uh assets or axes getting stolen i hope you liked the video and i hope it uh helped you on uh to decide to like you want to buy the treasure is it for you or you know are you gonna pass but i would really recommend you getting it if you're really planning to invest on axie infinity and uh be a manager so this way you could like protect your axes and you know distribute it to across like multiple ronin accounts provided by your treasure please give the video a like if you find it helpful and if you're new to my channel please give me a sub i'll be back with more content for axie infinity so i'll be back for more axie infinity content and of course other gaming related stuff like switch gaming and playstation 5 and of course my favorite monster hunter so that's it Thanks for watching, and let's get back to grinding, this time SLPs. <laughs> See you later.